Okay, I'm sold. I'm already sold, guys. You don't need to resell me. I'm good. I love it. Hello, my people, and welcome back to the channel that has not been on the air for a long time. <laughs> Today I just want to talk about one thing and it is the Ninja Precision Food Processor with a spiralizer which I'm super excited about. But yeah, so I'm just gonna unbox it and maybe we'll give it a try on you know blending up some chickpeas or something into some hummus. So if you're interested in watching my unboxing then stay tuned and we will get right into it. course we have some ninja quick assembly instructions and it looks like probably a little recipe booklet we have a brush to clean the spiralizer with one of the blades and you know what sorry about one-handedness but this is just what it is it's one-handed today and I'm not sure if like this is actually a blade because it's definitely plastic. But what do I know? Oh, here's the spiralizer part. So it does two types of noodles, I believe. There's a spaghetti and there's fettuccine. And this is kind of showing you the difference between the spaghetti and the fettuccine. And there's the other one. Ooh, here we go. All right, so let's just look in here real quick and see what we have. This looks like the entire food processor portion. Oh, actually, yeah, that's the whole food processor. It's not that big. Here is the spiralizer pusher downer, <laughs> if that's even a word. But you just put it in there and you push it down and it goes in there. And here is, okay, I'm confused. So this is the food processor? I guess so. This is super cute though. We have the Ninja Blender and you guys can take a look at that video of the unboxing. I mean, it was years ago, but the Ninja Blender actually held up really well over the years, so. Oh, this is like a little oil dripper so you can drip some oil in there as you wait for it to blend up for like hummus or something. And here is the base. So it's not too large, but it does have all the, com oh, man, that thing is suctiony. Yeah. Ooh, really suctiony suction cups down there. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to take all of the stuff I just pulled out of the box and give it a quick wash in the sink, and then I'll be right back to make a quick hummus. We'll see. I'm actually gonna test this out today and I have, now let me tell you guys, I have never made hummus before. This is gonna be my first time. I'm just giving you like, this is what my idea of what hummus would be. Garbanzo beans, a clove of garlic, some extra virgin olive oil, and I'm actually gonna throw a tiny bit of this in there too just for, because it's gonna taste good. So that's, that's kind of what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna spiralize also this eggplant and make spaghetti with it. I don't know if this is even a spiralizable vegetable, but today it's getting spiralized. So we can test out these two things on this machine. All right, so I've washed and prepped these and what we're gonna do is try to fit it all together. And I think the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, spiralize. What, as I was looking, I realized that this is for the spiralizer because it has this piece down here that goes with this canister and it actually goes on top of there. So it just fits right in there like this, easy. And then this piece is going to fit on top of it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for this front portion right here and it's just going to meet up with that portion. So we're just gonna do that and twist and lock it. And again, this black piece back here is gonna kind of be towards the back and it's gonna sit in and you twist and lock it forward so that this gray part meets up with the Ninja name. 
And that's how you put it together. It was really simple, except for the fact that I missed the middle part. So you undo this, and I'm going to use this green one this time. And literally, you just kind of line it up so that it just fits on there. And again, you put those together and you're going to snap it to lock it. To unlock it, you push this button right here and it just snaps off. All right, let's see what happens when we spiralize something that we don't know if it's gonna spiralize or not. Let's go. All right, so here we are. We're gonna take this and we're going to put it on top like this. And actually there's some things you need to line up. So these actually line up with the little portions in here. And what we're gonna do is, ah! We're just gonna turn it on and hope that everything turns out well, okay? I'm scared. I've ever done and I kid you not because I have my own spiralizer I didn't even know it was spiralizing I was like what that was so easy let's finish spiralizing then and it doesn't even waste it okay I'm sold I'm already sold guys you don't need to resell me I'm good I love it you know how many dishes I'm gonna be making it's gonna be sick all right, before I continue spiralizing, because obviously it's full, all you do is lift it out and pour it in. Oh my gosh, look at those noodles. Jeez, look at that. Oh my gosh, like, I could throw that. Oh, I seriously can't even deal right now. This is amazing. Okay, let's continue on because I can just look at these noodles all day. All right, so we're finished with that. Let's go ahead and put uh, this part on. And this is the hummus portion. Again, there's this black piece that's gonna go towards the back. And then it's gonna lock in like that. Simple and easy. And then again, wherever this little knob is here, you're just gonna lock it to the front so that it lines up with the front of the ninja. Oop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour these into the machine with some of these pieces that weren't noodleized as well as they should have been. I'm gonna put those in here. We want a little bit of that. I'm gonna put, actually, you know we need a blade, right? All right, so we're gonna put the blade and it literally just goes down here in the middle and it's in. And we're gonna put these pieces in here. And we're gonna pour our garbanzo beans in. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this lid on. Again, it locks into place right there. And I mean, I guess we just push the button. Huh, well, that looks nice. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this oil in as it's spinning. And I, again, I don't know what I'm doing. This isn't my hummus recipe. I just, this is my idea of a hummus recipe. And I'm gonna throw this globe of garlic, garlic in so that it can also like chop up. Okay, let's play. Wow. I'm super impressed right now and I'm super excited. Let's put a little bit more oil in because why not? All right, do you see this? Like that is actual hummus. Guys, like look at that. Oh God, this is amazing. All right, what I want to do is just taste the hummus and see what we, what we have here. Okay, my thoughts. First of all, the texture is great. I probably should blend it a little bit more, but I mean, this is like a, a real paste, you know? And I really like the fact that I added the garlic and you can taste that. You can also taste the eggplant, which is like kind of an earthy flavor. So overall, my made up recipe that I just decided to do right now really was good. This is so easy making food with plants. I swear to Jesus.
it's so easy. I am not a cook. I mean, I, I like to cook, but I'm not a cook and I'm not a chef. And I just throw things together and this is, this is good. So overall, I think that this was worth the price. I paid $89 for the entire thing um, from Target. Um, it does what it says it does. It spiralized the heck out of that eggplant. I didn't even know you could spiralize eggplant. But it went so easy and smooth and I'm gonna actually make spaghetti out of that tonight. And then the actual food processor, I think testing it on hummus because it's such a creamy texture was really good and I think it came out pretty dang good. I will be probably making a lot more recipes and hopefully I'll be able to share them with you guys more on this channel because I am, I guess, transitioning into a more whole foods diet. I already don't really eat meat for the occasional sushi. I'm trying to get away from that. Um, and a lot of dairy I have cut. So trying to find, you know, cheese substitutes and this is gonna help me do that. I also wanna be able to make, you know, any vegetable dishes that I wanna do and this is also gonna help me. So follow along. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little unboxing and first try. And I hope to see you guys again. Talk to you later, bye. <laughs> I know, my wave, bye.